Hey, what's up guys? I'm Liam, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to professionally edit any of your guys' videos using this app, PowerDirector. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, what I'm going to be showing you guys is not only how to add pictures to the videos, but also to cut out parts of the videos. And that doesn't mean just the beginning and the end. I'm saying in between the videos. So let's say if you mess up on saying something and you want that to be cut out of the video, I'll show you how to cut that out. And I'm also going to be showing you guys how to slow down the speed of part of the video or just the whole entire video. And I'm also going to be showing you guys how to add music and a bunch of other stuff. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the Play Store search up PowerDirector and download it. Now, if you have the free version, all I know is that it has a watermark and some of these features are not available on the free version. Um, what I'm saying is that I have the, the premium version and some of the features on this version are not available on the free version, so just keep that in mind. I really recommend getting the premium version um, and yeah. Anyways, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the app and then click this button right here. Now you can name your project whatever you want right here. No, right here. And you can also change the aspect ratio, which means you can change it from landscape to portrait mode. But I'm going to change it, or I'm just going to keep it at um, landscape mode because that's what my video is oriented in. So. Just click OK, and here's where you can select videos. Now, you can select them from any of the folders that you have on your device um, that you're organizing your videos in. You can also add pictures right here and music right here. Now, for right now, I'm just going to add one video. Now, if you want to add two, then just click on your first video that you want to be added in. Click the plus button, and then click the second video and so on. Now I'm just gonna add this clip because that's the only one I want to add and then I'm gonna click play. Hey guys I'm Liam and this is my S4. Now if you want to see a picture of the back of it then it'll be right here. Um, Watch this. This will be in slow motion. All right. Well, that's going to be it. So, <laughs> peace out. All right. So, that is the unedited version of this clip. Now, first up, I'm going to show you how to cut out in between the video. So, if you look in the beginning, right here, when I say, hey, guys... Oh, my phone's at 15%. That's great. Anyways, where I say, hey, guys, in between that and I'm Liam, there's a pretty good-sized pause. So I'm going to cut that out. Hey, guys. So after I say, hey, guys, I'm going to pause it, tap the video right there, and then click on this button right here. And that will cut the video into two separate clips. Now, after that, I'm just going to hit play. I'm Liam. I'm going to find out where I say I'm Liam. And I believe I'm Liam. Yep. I believe it's right here. So I'm going to click on this video. Click the cut sign right there. Click on the middle clip and hit delete. And now, hey guys, I'm Liam and there you go. Now there's no giant pause, so that's pretty cool. Now on the preview up here, um, you will notice that it looks like it's lagging. Guys, I'm Liam. Um, and, and this might just be my phone, but trust me, when you actually export the video, it's not laggy at all. So, yeah. Anyways, on to the next thing. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to add a picture to the video. So, this is what you're going to need to do. Now, I'm going to find the place where I say if you want to see a back of if you want to see a picture of the back, then it'll be right here. 
my S4. Now, if you want to see a picture of the back of it, then it'll be... So, now that I've found the place where I actually want the picture to go, I'm going to click on this button right here. It looks like two square, like two flat squares kind of on top of each other. And then I'm going to click on image. Now I'm going to click on eraser because that's where I edited this picture right here. And I'm going to click on the picture that I want to add. And then, now you can see the back of it, then it'll be right here. That it is now um, on the screen. Watch. Now, you can do a few things with this picture. You can twist it around, make it bigger. I'm going to put it like this. And you can also change the length of like where you want it to start and where you want it to end. So I'm just going to make it shorter. And now you can see of the back of it, then it'll be right here that it is now shorter. Now you can also click on it, click this edit sign, click duration and change it from here. But I just like to change it using, you know, the little thing down there. Um, you can also change this. Um, and if you click on this, like if the if you want it to be on longer um, than two seconds, then. But if you don't want like the fade in and fade out, which you saw earlier, which is like. Then it'll be right here. No, it didn't do it. Hold on. Let's say I want it that long, but I don't want the yeah. fading. I just want Picture it to the appear, back of it, and not then fade in and fade out. Right here. See how it fades in? I don't want that. So I'm going to click on it, click edit, click fade, and I can change it right here. If I want it to fade in, then I'll have this on, and if I want it to fade out, then I'll have, it, have that on. But I don't want it to fade in, but I want it to fade out. So what I'm going to do is just click on fade in and it turns it off. Now, as you can see, then it'll be right here. It appears. And over here, this will be in slow motion. It fades out. So, there you go. I'm going to make this shorter for now. And yeah, let's move on to the next thing, which is changing the speed of part of the video. Now, to do this, just find out where you want it to um, be changed, and a motion about right here is where I want the slow motion to start. So I'm going to pretty much do the same thing I did to cut out in between the video. I'm just going to click on the video, click cut, and then I'm going to find out where I want the slow motion to stop. So right there click on that part of the video, click cut, and then I'm going to click on this video. Now instead of hitting delete, um, I'm going to click edit. Then I'm going to click speed, and I'm going to put it down to 50%. And as you can see, it also mutes the audio automatically when you change the speed. I don't know why, but I always just turn it off, and it sounds normal. So, yeah, here you go. Here's what it looks like now if I can find out where to start it. Um, watch this. This will be in slow motion. And as you can see, now um, it was in 50% slow motion. So, there you go. Now I'm going to show you how to add music. So, what you're going to want to do is just click on this right here. Click on the little music sign. Find out whatever um, album you want the music to come from, or whatever folder and then just click on the file you want. And I'm not going to click on any, any because I don't want to get copyrighted. Um, so then I'm just um, going to click next. And if you want what it. happens is that the music, after you click on it, it will appear down here. So yeah, that's where you want it to appear. And you can also change the, um, the volume of each. Now first I'll show you how to change the volume of the the video itself so just click on edit then click volume and you can change it from here if you want it to be higher then just click that 
just make it higher. If you want it to be lower, then just move it downwards like that, or to the left. Um, and, yeah, it's really hard to get it back <laughs> to normal, but anyways, you can also change the, like, manually change the audio mixing and other stuff like that. So I'm going to add a song, but I'm not going to play it. Um, so I guess I can just add, hmm... I'll just add this song, and it will appear okay. right here. It'll just appear wherever you have this little line thing right here. Now, I'm not going to play the song, even though it's not copyrighted, but if you want to move it around, just hold it down and just move it. Now, I'm going to move it to the beginning, and as you see, it's still um, right here. It's still processing into the video, and now you can click on it click edit, click volume, and change the volume of that as well. So if you want it to be really quiet, just make it like that. You can make it fade in and fade out at the beginning and end. So anyways, yeah, that's how you add audio. And you can also add other audio, like a little ding noise or stuff like that if you want to find an mp3 file. And yeah, if you want to undo, then just click this button right here. And I'm going to undo both to where the audio is not in. Now, on to the next thing. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to crop the video. So, what you got to do is just find out where hey you want it cropped. Hey guys, I'm and Liam, and this is my S4. So, I guess I'll want it cropped right here. Just click on that video, click cut. Now, if you click on wherever you want the cropping to stop, click cut. Pretty much the same process that you did the slow motion and the cutting of in between the video. And then you want to hit edit, then hit crop. And then just pinch in. You can also move it around and stuff like that. If you go out like that, it'll just move it back. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, now, now watch. Is my S4. Now, if you want to see. As you can see, now it was cropped in. So, um, I don't exactly know if you can actually make that fade in to where it like slowly crops in and stuff like that, slowly crops out. But I do know how to crop in the video, and now you do too. So, yeah. You can also add effects like all of these right here. Now, not all of these are going to be available on the free version, but, you know, whatever. Anyways, I honestly don't know what it does, so let's find out. I'm Liam, and this is oh. my S4. So, there you go. Gives you that kind of look, I guess. So, yeah. Now I'm going to click to turn that off because I don't want that that's kinda cringy but <laughs> yeah on to the next thing alright so let's say you want some words on part of the video well all you gotta do is just find out where you want the words hey guy like let's hey. say right here then just click on this little button right here click on title and there's a bunch of titles to choose if you have the premium version, but if you have the uh, the free version, then not all of these are going to be available. Once again, I'm going to click on the default with fade. Hey guys, and as you can see, there's a little demo of what it does. Now, if you want to change the text, just click on that, delete it, and write whatever you want. Now you can tilt this around, make it bigger. You can also make a border. Now, what this means is you can add like the black around the white or the white around the black and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, if you want to change the length, then just, you know, do that. And hey guys, I'm Liam. And there you go. So that is how to add words to your videos. 
Alright, so the final thing I'm going to show you guys is how to save the project and how to export the video. Now, those are two different things, and I mean like majorly different things, but I'll show you how to do both. Now, if you want to save the project to edit later or to just mess around with later, but you don't want to actually export the video yet, click up here and click Save Project. And now if you go back here, it'll be right here. Now, if you want to edit it again, then just click on it, hit Edit. If you want to produce it, then just click this, or you can click Edit, and once you're done editing, click this and hit Produce Video. Now, you can also share it on YouTube, but I just like to hit Save to Gallery. You can change the name up here as well, so that's pretty cool. And you can change the video resolution. Um, so I'm just going to keep it at full HD, which is 1080p. And then, after that, just hit Produce. And now, as you can see, it is producing the video. And once it is done saving, you can upload it to YouTube, show your friends, do whatever you want with it doesn't matter and yeah anyways that is going to be it for today's tutorial so if you enjoyed please hit the like button and if you want to see more of this content please hit subscribe and turn on notifications and i hope to see you in the next one peace out